This is Keith Trim from Keith Trim Dragon Art. I'm not incorporated yet. I'm here with my fan club president, Cheryl Trim. We're going to talk about. Stop calling me that. We're going to talk about birds because in this uh, video, I'm painting an eagle. So we have uh, bird feeders in the backyard. What kind of we birds? We do, I, and I think that makes us old. Maybe I don't know. I remember my my grandmothers were like big backyard bird feeders. Yeah. Anyway, so. We live kind of in the middle of the of the country, and we have orioles and finches and those black. What are we? What are those blackbirds that we that have the iridescent heads? I can't remember. We looked it up once. I don't remember. There's a lot of those. Um, I think the squirrels get into our feeders. <laughs> we have an interesting topic. Was it last night? The night before. Uh, Cheryl went downstairs and screamed her head off. Oh yeah. You know why? Because there is a bat in my dining room. Yeah, and of course I get the honor of having to get rid of it. Because I wasn't going to do it. It's the second time I've had third. to do this. Third. I don't remember. I remember the time before this I had to go and grab it off of the curtain. With, uh, not my bare hand. I used a, a blanket. So this time I got a blanket. And, and my cat, Sherb, who I will have to congratulate, he did a very good job of chasing this thing around the house. Finally, it just got all pooped and couldn't fly anymore and landed on the ground. And I was able to just kind of scoop down with a blanket. Back here in your, in your... Yeah, it happened like three feet from here. Yeah. And the thing with it making funny Back noises... Back studio. It sounded like an electronic noise. Like bzz, 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 bzz. I don't know. That's a bat noise. I was able to pick it up and take it out in the front. This is like, what, two in the morning? I don't remember. Four in the morning. And I, th and I, I threw it into the darkness, and, and I think it survived. But um, I tell you, b bats are creepy looking dudes, man. Really creepy looking. Bats are good because, you know, they eat mosquitoes and they eat bugs and stuff, but they need to do it, like, outside of my house. Uh, let's look at my painting while we're talking about bats. Yeah. Um, I'm putting on my first layer of uh, feathers, and um, I'm using a darker highlight here because I'm going to do several layers of these highlights. Okay, next. Oh, kind of, what kind so, of birds? Oh, go ahead. Well, here's another thing I was just going to say. You're doing an eagle in this painting. The first time we had a bat in our house, our oldest son... Devin, who is an Eagle Scout, was the one who got the bat outside. Oh, well, I did two. Yeah, you did one too. Now you've done two. I've done two. And I hide every time. Cheryl, Cheryl doesn't even like mice. Mm mm. And bats are just mice with wings. That's true. Okay, so back to the backyard. What kind of birds do we get normally? Um, we get the usual ones, you know, the sparrows and the robins. We have a robin's nest. We have a mama robin who comes back every spring. And lays her eggs in the nest fire garage. She had two this year, and I think they've already taken off. Um, but we get um, red-headed finches and yellow finches and orioles and cardinals and blue jays. And boring old robins. Yeah. But, but they, they eat a lot of bird food, though. The, the robins are more like they're looking in the ground for worms and grubs and stuff. So we the cardinals um, really like the black sunflower seeds we put out. Yeah, we tried to buy some more fancy um, bird seed to get fancier birds, and that just did not work. No pelican. Well, I don't know that there's oh. any fancier birds around here. I was hoping for a pelican, maybe. Mm. They only, they only um, migrate through here. Oh, but an interesting fact: the other day when I was at my friend's house hanging out at the pool, there was a bald eagle circling above us. How do you know? Because I saw it. I didn't know. Oh, okay. <laughs> like with my eyes, I saw that it was about a bald eagle. You sure it wasn't just a regular eagle? No, it had a white head and a white tail. Okay. Back to my painting. Hey, I'm putting highlights on, highlights on the beak. Uh, if you notice, this picture is completely in gray tones. There's a word for this. Uh, you paint your picture all in grays. It gets your, that way your, your values are all correct. Then you put a glaze over the top. And that's what I do with this later. I just wanted to do this all in gray tones because it's, I don't know, it's cheaper on your paint. You're just using black and white. But it's, it's, there's, a, there's a name for this. I should have Googled it before I ever even talked about it. Now I feel bad. So um, I'm backfilling the shadow because that's a cool effect I like. Um, uh, my cat is attacking my computer again. Okay. Um, back to the backyard. Let's talk about the backyard again. Well, we do have a bat house. I don't know if it's being used or not, though. No, I don't know. I mean... The last time we had a bat in the house, we, we Googled it, basically, and it was said, you know, if they have a house outside your house, it's less likely that they're going to try and get into your house. I kind of suspect that they're coming in through our chimney. You know, I think, I thought the same thing, but I don't know. I think we have our flu's down. I think they're actually flying in 
between your legs when you walk into the house. Uh-uh. No. No way. I would notice that. So would you. I don't think our flu is open. Not, there's no way they're getting in the house through that way. We've mm. been... They can flatten their little bodies to get through tiny little spaces. So it's I, very possible that's how they're I think in. they're flying past our heads no, like, like, like magic at 300 miles an hour. No. Zooming into the house. No. And you just didn't even notice it. No. I would notice that. No, you wouldn't. Yes, I would. I noticed the bat flying around at 4 a.m. That's because you were looking for the bathroom. No. I was feeding the cat. Oh. Uh, okay, well, so um, now I'm painting the, some colors on this eagle because I want it to look more like a parrot, I guess. And this is a good effect. I like this. I don't know if it matched up with the umbers I was using very well. Uh, later on, I add some more purple to the body, and it kind of came up kind of like a train wreck. I don't know. Um, it's okay. I do like the way the head turned out. And you can purchase this painting for, uh, for $4,000. Oh, my. And if you complain about the umbers and the purples, I'll knock it down to three thousand dollars, and I, I sign it. And uh, you know, it's original artwork, and it's and original artwork has a value. Okay, so now here I am. I'm putting color over that. I don't know what that's called. I should have googled it. But I got my values right. Then I go back in. I add some whites to my color and put that on top. I don't know what that's called, but it, it thickens up and lightens up with the actual color. You're going to lose your artist license if you can't remember all this stuff. Oh, because now you see I might put more umbers on top of the purples. And I don't know if that works or not. I think it's okay. You know, it probably would match most people's couches who had purple couches and you know, some umbery looking nightstands. I don't know. I don't really make couch paintings. Do I? No. Would you put this in your house? I would. I would. My house is full oh, of these kinds of It's already house. in our house, by the way. Okay, now... Hey, okay, everybody, just make sure that you're liking and subscribing so that you can hear more fun banter between the two of us. Yes, because we're getting towards the end of the video. So if you're still here, you know you want more. We need 4,000 subscribers and 4,000 uh, 4, hours of watch time so I can make a living doing this. I'm a YouTuber! All right, that's the finished product right there in the living room. It's beautiful. It just needs to be framed. Uh... You know, buy it and frame it. Keith Trim Art. And thank you for showing up.